Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cadillac Driven. We got another quick video for you guys to check out. Now, for those of you all who got Android Auto in your car, this video is for you. Now, I'm bringing this video to you all simply because I think a lot of people don't know that these features existed because I didn't know they existed. I think this is Google's best kept secret for Android Auto. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go in, we're gonna take a look at how do you get to these features and to be able to customize them. Now there's two ways. One, you can go into the app drawer, right? Now I went into the app drawer and I put in Android Auto. And when I put in Android Auto, there was no, and I tell you, right, there was no uh, icon for Android Auto. And I thought that was weird, right? And as you can see here, there's nothing. If I punch that, nothing. And so down at the bottom, it has Android Auto. It says advanced features. Now, once you do that, you're gonna tap on Android Auto. We're not gonna do that right now, but if you wanna just drop your screen down and go into settings, go into advanced features, you can. But for what I would do if I go this route, I just go in and I'll put in Android Auto and then it'll bring it up. And then once you bring it up, just tap on it. It'll bring you here, you see advanced features. Android Auto, and then you're going to come down and you're going to hit Android Auto again. And now it's going to bring you to Android Auto settings. Now, here is where you're going to be able to customize the features, which I thought was pretty nice to make Android Auto a little bit more convenient in your vehicle. All right. So one of the things you could do here is customize the launcher, right? So if I want to, I can move some stuff around if I want to. So if I want to move maps to the top, just press and hold and just go all the way up. And then I can bring it down and place it wherever I want to place it. I can also add contacts, as you see right here. Got the missus, got my daughter. And then all I got to do is add, hit add shortcut. And then I can hit on uh, call and contacts. And then I can just choose a name, right? And then I can add that contact to my list, which is pretty darn cool. Now, if you want to go ahead and... Um, uh, set your launcher from A to Z, you can, or customize the order, just like I did. I like to customize the order. That way, I make things convenient for me uh, when I'm in my car and I get the screen pulled up for, for Android Auto, all right? So another feature would be, of course, you know you got Hey Google Detection, just in case you didn't know. And then also, you got Day and Night Mode. Now, for me, I like automatic, right? Because therefore, at night, the light isn't bright, and in the day, yeah, the light is bright so I can see. And so you can set it today or you can set it tonight if you don't like automatic. And then come down here. I like this, right? Start Android Auto automatically. I got it on always because I use Android Auto every single day. All right. But if you want to change it to if used in the last drive or set it by default, that's going to be up to you. Now, Another thing that I like is that uh, start Android Auto while locked. Yes, I wanted to be able to start while in the lock screen. I don't want to have to open my phone in order to get to my Android Auto for it to start. You got automatically start media. I got that because I wanted to go ahead and start the music right away. I'm getting myself together for the drive. I don't have to touch anything. The music starts to play. Then, of course, you got your Google Assistant where you can set the weather, home, and your work location. Also, you can set the weather. And it's going to put the weather up in the corner at the top of the screen. So therefore, you can always have your weather set because in most cases, your car has the weather set maybe in your infotainment center. And once you bring up Android Auto, if you don't have this turned on, it will not give you the weather. So if you like the weather, then make sure you tap that. Driver's seat location. I left it on default. Maybe I go in and I practice with left and right just to see what it does. But default works for me. When I get in the car, everything turns on the way that I want it to turn on. Now, if you want this to show notifications, you can cut this on. It'll show not notification messages. It'll also show group messages, uh, notifications. And then if you want to silence it, you can go ahead and silence it. I don't want to hear anything. All I want to hear is my music. Okay. And then wireless android auto i just leave that turned on so that's it you all these are a few things that you can change and customize for your android auto in your car all right so hit me in the comment section down below let me know your thoughts on these features and hit the like button smash the notification bell and do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you all again at the next video enjoy life have some fun you all and remember to remember to please be safe